highly sensitive, soulful being, friend, whatever species you are. You're very welcome, Falcha. Place your energy into the cards. And let's see what you got going on right now for whatever time you see this video. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is A.V. A.V. and the Angels, the Nameless Ones, are the Angel Collective that I channel. And if it falls to the floor, it's knocking at your door. King of Fire. over here so I can place the cards down so I can have a look so that was the king of fire we got the cherry blossom in the back one of my favorite trees inspirational charismatic innovative okay so for some of you this king this masculine energy and we're talking about energies here so this masculine he is full of fire. He is, he's very inspiring, okay? He's, he's a beneficial energy for you. He's very charismatic. He is showing up with his rod, okay? With his stick, his shtick as we say in Ireland. <laughs> and this beautiful stick is a wand, okay? So in traditional tarot, we call this the king of wands. And that wand is a powerful wand, okay? He's going to use that inspiring shtick to prod you back into being alive. So if you've been feeling a bit low, if you've been feeling like you're not feeling connected to life. This beautiful masculine, I really like his energy. He's very passionate. He's very, he's beneficial to you because he is in love with life and he's shown up to remind you to be in love with life as well. He's gonna mirror that life connection for you that you've been denying or repressing or you just haven't been feeling it he's shown up to mirror back to you that beautiful passion that you used to have for your life. So it can be a very passionate love affair. It can be a powerful soulmate who's bringing fire back into your heart and fire back into your body. He's got a very sexual energy. He's very sensual. He's high emotions. He can be intense about his attraction with you. He can be very seductive. So I'm just gonna clarify and see what else he's bringing in apart from all that fire, okay? Right. <clears throat> okay, so he's coming in to clear up any self-doubts you've been having. If you've been having lots of doubts about yourself, if you've been doubting some old relationship you've left um, and you're living in the past, he's coming in with his fire, with his beautiful magical wand to, to bring you into the present moment, to bring more passion in. He's here to clear up confusion because we've got the aid of air here, okay? And he's also here to remind you that you have a choice and you have free will. He's bringing you, he's bringing warmth. That's you out in the cold. You've been out in the cold. Pretty miserable, right? Don't look too happy out there in the snow in the freezing cold with nobody around. It looks pretty lonely. He's coming back in to clear up that self-doubt and that confusion. And he's also here to remind you that you have free will. And if you're going to drown in the past and you're going to drown in your depression 
or anxiety or your self-doubts, he's going to mirror that back to you and go, come on, girl, wake up. Honey, I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to bring in some creative, crafty energy so that we can do something artistic and beautiful and passionate and enlivening together. So that's, that's his main role. So in many ways, he's an angel flying in with his beautiful wand to wave a magic, his magic wand over you and say, snap out of it. Come back into the present moment. Snap out of that reverie you're in because daydreaming in the past, you're missing out on your life right now, okay? So the six of earth. He's also going to be beneficial in money. So this masculine, if he's not coming in for you as a romantic interest, as a love affair, he might be coming in as a business associate. He might be coming in to help you with enterprise or a project. And you can see the coins there with the angel. So he's going to be helpful with creative ideas. And interesting how I said arts and crafts there. I don't know, like I'm channeling as I'm doing these messages. So your angels are, there's something creative and there's something unique about the ideas and the inspiration he has for you. It's saying charity, generosity, windfall. So by being associated with this person, and for some of you, it'll be a romantic experience, might be a summer love, might be something more long-term. For others, it will be that this is a friendship or this is in business. And this King of Wands is here to help bring in more coin, okay? Help create more abundance or give you creative ideas in avenues of how you can increase those streams of abundance. Okay, then we have the four of air, meditation, recuperation and contemplation. So this is about rest. Okay, this is the four of swords. This is, you might need a break, you might, might need to also rest and heal by spending time with this King of Wands. He's quite healing. He's He's got a nourishing energy about him. He wants to help you rejuvenate and revive your zest for life. So meditation, recuperation, and contemplation. Let's see what else you got going on. And by the way, if you want a reading with me, you can just check out the description box and go to my website avindoyle.com. I am offering over the phone readings on WhatsApp or Telegram and it's a cheaper quicker way if you're not ready to have the complete angel healing experience and it's just too expensive or you just want to have your cards read without the coaching, without the counseling, without the CBT. You can book an over the phone call with me. And I'm also doing distance healings as well. And with the distance healing, we arrange time. I do the healing with you remotely. And then I send you a few voice messages, notes on what I picked up. So there's lots of options and lots of avenues and ways for you to connect with these angelic healing frequencies that I bring as a service. Okay, so you can drop me an email, the contact form there, and we take it from there. Okay. Right. We got the page of water, so there's this is the page of cups. There's so much creative energy around you at this time. It's just wonderful. Um, it says sensitive, open hearted, intuitive. So for some of you, this is a younger person or somebody who's quite youthful, right? Because youth really isn't about the number. It's about the energy of a person 
you can have someone who's a very young number but they're very old in their energy and you can have someone who's 99 and they're just full of exuberance and full of youthfulness and they really embody that inner child right i'm 42 and i still feel like i'm six years old on the inside <laughs> and i think it's important to keep that inner child alive and kicking and you're being reminded to do that okay so there's a queen of fire here intelligent exuberant determined this gorgeous queen and she's reminding you this is a female this is some feminine energy who's coming into your life to remind you to embrace and to embody that inner child energy and she might say something to you that sparks an inspiration she might offer you a job opportunity she might encourage you in some way it could be your mother it could be your sister it could be a colleague but this feminine energy is here again to revive you in some way so there's a theme here of being revived being rejuvenated being supported right you've got these got the masculine showing up you've got the feminine showing up you've got balance being created again then we have seven of air mm. awareness caution consequences i'm just listening right so the seven of air your angel's message with this is if you've been curling up and retreating away from real life and real connection and actually tending to what needs to get done now, that is not going to serve you. It's going to become a problem, okay? So it's like, if you look at the, the girl on the card, right, there's fruit in the bowl, there's fruit there's a there's a little boy behind her who wants to play with her he's playing with the fruit he's playing with the, the lovely apples so you're being offered the apple of life you're being offered the fruits of your labor you even been offered a playmate and an angel there to support you but you're too busy sleeping retreating rejecting and pushing people away so there are times it's necessary for us to retreat into our own energy again but sometimes we get into habits and that goes on too long so you're being advised to it's it's like the first message the very the, the cornerstone of the reading which is about being revived, being inspired back into life and reconnecting, okay? So you're being advised to reconnect. You're being advised to get back into the passion of life, okay? I'm just going to clarify that. Hope you're all having a lovely time of year, enjoying the gorgeous sunshine and light. So beautiful nature is just in bloom and luscious i love it oh very nice okay so some of you have been wanting to get into counseling or develop your healing abilities become a shaman or start teaching some kind of helpful holistic service to others and the number five the wise counselor is blessing you asking you to step up to the plate to to follow this dream so belonging learning traditions you're going to find belonging when you start to study that or you join a meditation group or you find a mentor who will teach you how to be a good healer. So you are a very wise counselor. You're quite psychic. You're very in tune with people. You're highly sensitive to energies and you pick up on patterns. You pick up on emotions in people, even if they're 
I'm getting my itchy nose, so I'm really onto something here. When I get my little um, bewitch twitch, I'm really onto something, okay? <laughs> And Cheyenne, you were saying that you notice that a lot of psychics get the little twitch in the nose and it's so true. So it's time for you to use those gifts of service and to use them to benefit yourself. So you're going to find belonging in that and you're going to find some ancient lineage is what I'm hearing. Oh, and I just, these are brilliant. You're also going to get your wish come true. The nine of water is the nine of cups. And this is your wish come true. What you want wants you. This is wishes, dreams, happiness. This is the happy card. Look at that. And don't forget your inner child loves to blow the dandelions. Because you need to, when you blow that, you're sending all your wishes off into the universe. So as a ritual to honor this wish, you might want to go and do that. I, I still do that since I was a child. I, won't, I love blowing dandelions. It's absolutely love it. So that's a happiness card. Now, the wheel is telling you that the karmic wheel is turning in your favor, okay? So look, progress, change. Things are going to change, but they're going to change in your favor. This is also about transportation. Somebody's getting a new car. Somebody's getting a new set of wheels. <laughs> Might be a bike. Big, shiny red car okay um the wheel is turning in your favor so this is a twist of fate so if you thought something wasn't going to work out don't be surprised if it turns suddenly in your favor and it's validation it's recognition it's confirmation it's something you wanted to hear i'm hearing for a long time finally being said back to you and you're like thank you thank you thank you it's great to be vindicated and then the Empress. Number three, creation, abundance, action. Now we have the little bunny down there. We have the baby in her arms and the Empress, of course, is a traditional sign of fertility, of pregnancy. So there's a pregnancy energy there, but it can also be rebirthing yourself back into a new life, finding a renewal of passion for life so that seems to be a very consistent th theme throughout your your reading and um, creation i mean there's just so much creative energy going on around you abundance again we had that coin showing up before and action so the empress it's like by being in the divine feminine she's naturally attracting what she needs and she gets inspired to action so this isn't action where you're having to force yourself out the door. This is inspired action. Okay. And let me finish. With some angel answers, placing your energy into these cards. Here we go. Hmm. It's been such a busy week, but I love that. It's been so productive and positive. Lots of progress, lots of evolution, lots of expansion, which I love. Okay, I'm gonna take them because they nearly fell off. Okay. Definitely romance for some of you. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Success, right? You've got the yes card. Like I said, what you want wants you. Yes. Yes, you can have this relationship. Yes, you can trust this person. Yes, the situation will improve. It's up to you. It's up to you. There's romance on the cards. Look at those two. Beautiful romance. You got a golden opportunity. Life is to be lived, life is to be enjoyed. And guess what? You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. And I'm gonna pull one more card. 
from my Guardian Angel Tarot deck by Radley Valentine. One more card for the viewer here, the soul that's watching. What do you want to say, Guardian Angel of my viewer? Thank you so much for working with us and through us. On behalf of the Prime Source Creator, of all that is, and there it is. Who I'm for. Ah, ten of fire. You're overworked. You're overstressed. Overworked, stressed, imbalanced. Look at her, she's exhausted. She's doing way too much. Too much juggling, too much going on. The ten of fire is like, you have to really push yourself and you really have to put effort in to get to where you are. But you're there now, you can relax and you can drop the burden. It's, it's a card that recognizes that there was effort required and it was necessary for you to, to hold everything up and hold, hold up the heavy weight. You were holding up the pillars. But it's also a card that's saying, well done, you've reached the finish line. You can let it go now, you can relax. You don't need to keep pushing and you don't need to carry. It's like the traditional picture is a guy with like a big load of sticks on his back and he's been carrying these sticks up the hill. And it's like, you're at the, you, you've reached your destination, you've arrived, drop that load, drop the sticks. You don't need to carry them further anymore, all is well. And you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. So well done. You might have got through a very difficult time, a quite challenging period, but you've arrived, you're in a healing space, you've got this gorgeous, fiery affair or energy, this masculine showing up to help you, to be a bridge for you, to light the way for you and to reflect back your beauty to you. And you've also got this gorgeous feminine who wants to show you new opportunities, new avenues, ways of prosperity and abundance and, and coin and money. So there's like, all areas of the life are being fired up now. There's a lot of fire and passion and creativity flowing towards you. So if you enjoyed this reading, please, I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. It helps me to stay afloat. It helps me to reach new people. Um, it also helps me to connect more with your energy. So in future readings, when you click like as well, you're, you're basically giving permission for your angels to be accessed with the guidance. So people who are subscribers of the channel, that's who I'm reading for because they're the souls that's given me and the angels permission to read for. So if you enjoy this, if you found it interesting or you wanna share something in the comment, I always read the comments and I always appreciate them. You can like and subscribe. And if you're looking for a distance healing or a reading yourself, visit my website at aviandoyle.com. Thank you so much. God bless.